Admission of failures by Texas police officers responding to the school shooting in Uvalde, Texas on Tuesday. And today, the director of the Texas Safety Department says wrong decisions were made, leading to children being killed. The director says the chief of Uvalde ISD police wrongly believed that the incident had moved from an active shooter situation to a barricade situation. Now, a barricade would suggest the suspect stopped firing and locked himself in the classroom by himself. The director says several 911 calls were made by children still inside the school asking for police help while the shots still were being fired in the background. An investigation is now being conducted into that police response. When situations like this occur, departments have protocols on how officers should respond. Those protocols are built off lessons learned from, for example, the Columbine shooting in 1999. Today, Megan Lopez talked to a now retired SWAT officer who responded to Columbine and who now trains law enforcement agencies nationwide. And he says officers in Texas made the same mistakes that he has been pushing others to avoid for decades. There's a cycle after tragedies like the school shooting in Uvalde. First shock, disbelief, then grief, anger, then questions, so many questions. Questions about how this happened and why. Some questions will be answered in the days and weeks ahead, some will never know. After the questions, lessons, the type. I'll never forget the feeling about going through that window. Grant Whitus has dedicated his life to teaching others. Columbine, I was a lead shield going in, so uh, first guy in Columbine. I'm Protocols were different in 1999. Officers waited 47 minutes before entering that school. Columbine officers said the question the lessons learned there is why we've taught for 23 years. Don't make the same mistake we made. The most important lesson from that day, every second matters. A shooting starts on an average of every 15 seconds, a person is shot and killed. For 23 years, Whitus has been training others not to wait. In that first minute, the expectation was that officer's in that door uh, trying to stop that shooter. No more waiting, no more setting up for perimeter waiting on SWAT. It's a strategy that's been successful in shootings like the STEM school to save lives. But that's not what happened in Uvalde. A timeline released by Texas officials showed the shooter had nearly 90 minutes before officers confronted him. He entered a classroom at 11.33 a.m. while police stayed in the hallway. For the benefit of hindsight, where I'm sitting now, of course it was not the right decision. It was the wrong decision, period. There's no, no excuse for that. It sounds like there was a, a definite problem with the response here. But there were. Children in the two classrooms with the shooter made phone call after phone call begging for help. Whitus is waiting for that investigation to wrap up, but even he has questions. The more I watch this, the harder it gets. And um, I, I feel so, so much for and so bad for those parents that are pleading with these law enforcement officers to get in there and stop it. There are so many questions after a tragedy like Uvalde, so many lessons. We need to get better as law enforcement and responding to it. For Whitus, the lesson is that the training never stops. Megan Lopez, Denver 7. And the shooter fired a total of 142 bullets inside the school. Officials say he had 60 magazines and more than 1,600 rounds of ammunition, but left most of that outside the school. Texas Governor Greg Abbott told reporters in a press conference today that he was misled about the initial police response and that he's livid.